everybody, I'm going to talk to you today briefly about one of the chatbots that I've built to help my students succeed in the classroom and beyond. Uh, through the auspices of PlayLab AI, through the fantastic auspices of PlayLab AI, I've been able to build a bunch of fun um, chatbots to help various aspects of my students and various um, uh, uh, learning opportunities um, and all kinds of great stuff. Just have time to talk about one today. I'm going to talk about Marlo. Um, this app was developed uh, to specifically address some uh, skill gaps that I've been noticing are, are increasingly expanding uh, almost by the hour, it seems. Um, so the basic idea is students are coming into my classroom with um, uh, writing skills that are just worse and worse every year. So, so their writing preparation is degrading. Uh, for me to get them up to speed, I don't want to abandon writing, but for me to give them the kind of attention, it, it takes a huge amount of time and pulls away from my time in the class that I have to be delivering disciplinary content. So the idea, so the main question here is, hey, can I use this AI tool as something of a mentor, a tutor, to help them with some of their core skills, help them practice, give them feedback, so that I can give more high-level feedback and, uh, and, and more of that uh, finesse as opposed to the sort of starter instruction type stuff. Uh, secondarily, it's a, it's a test of the value of AI for students in a learning context and, and how can we use this to augment learning, not just worry about cheating and all that kind of other stuff. The general approach uh, for this app is to, uh, and, and a general framework of which this app is but one component, is to model the research paper writing process and, and show them how to do it. Many of my students just simply have not seen how this works, and so they're lost when they're, when they're asked to do their first you know, research paper. Um, so this app is the first step in that, in that process. So the, the, the step here, the, this app, is to address um, the students that are trying to come up with a thesis statement for a writing paper. So this is the app. You can, you can uh, click on it and we can run through it. Um, real quickly though, I'll just tell you, um, the guidance that I've given Marlo is to, to guide them and ask questions, not, not so much do it for them or, or do all the writing for them, but rather be in an, in an integrative back and forth setting. The tone, which might be totally crazy and might fail, um, is to be supportive, but also to speak like you're a hard-boiled crime fiction private eye. Uh, so kind of, you know, tough, tough, tough as nails and, you know, all that kind of stuff um, to go along with the Marlowe uh, theme. Uh, what they will do in this um, app is, is select a topic and then refine the thesis statement. Um, so this is a screenshot of what it, um, one of the outputs, what it looks like. So it starts up and it says, hey, you ready to go? And we have some back and forth. It outlines the general uh, uh, approach that we're supposed to be doing, taking. It asks you, hey, what class is this for? So we can understand what, what sort of the themes uh, we will be uh, possibly addressing. Um, it asks if you have a, um, any guidance from your instructor. You can upload that as well. Um, in this case, uh, the, the, uh, you know, I said, oh, I'm interested in sea level rise. So it said, oh, sea level rise. Here's a couple ideas of some things you can maybe start to look at with sea level rise. And then you go on from there iterating and brainstorming refinements, et cetera. I tr I've tried various uh, variants. So uh, uh, PlayLab allows you to use different uh, large language models. Um, for example, this is the case with uh, ChatGPT 4.0, which... Um, is you know these these, these numbers and t things change all the time, but the basic idea here with the, with with the ChatGPT variants are that they tend to be very fast. Um, the persona of the hard-boiled crime fiction person wasn't um, very much front and centered, a little bit, but it wasn't wasn't nearly as much as some of the other ones. Um, I also found that some of the formatting of the responses were were sometimes inconsistent. Um, in general, the output was pretty short. It was great, but it was, it was relatively short and tight, which might be what you like. Um, it has a typical footprint of most of these um, you know, very carbon intensive uh, models. Uh, the other uh, sort of uh, extreme here would be something like the Claude models from Anthropic. And um, this was much slower, whereas the previous one, I'd type in something, boom, you get an answer back almost instantaneously. The Claude ver variants, um, particularly Opus, takes longer, more on the order of, say, five, six, seven seconds to get um, a, a feed, a, a, an answer back, which isn't a problem. But given this is doing multiple iterations, um, if this were to go on for you know, 15 minutes, it could take a lot longer, for example, than some of the other things. 
I did notice that the persona that I've given it is much stronger. So as I've highlighted here with red, um, it also provides sort of like a background, uh, you know, narrative reading that, that takes a long drag of a cigarette blowing smoke out in a plume and then, it, and then you know, answers. So, um, so maybe that's a good thing. Maybe that's not a good thing. Uh, much more detailed uh, output. Um, it is true also that, that the Claude Opus has the highest carbon footprint of any of these models. So, so you know, really much more intense, much more in-depth, but it comes at a price in terms of uh, energy expenditure and in terms of uh, processing speed. Um, so here's, here's a, an example of, of one round uh, through, the, um, through the model. Uh, and so I said, hey, maybe I want to write a thesis on microplastics. And so the first thing that came out was, uh, uh, hey, the presence of microplastics in drinking water pose significant health risks, necessitating urgent measures to identify and mitigate sources of contamination. I should say that I've abbreviated the terms here just to fit on the slide. The output was in full you know, English sentences. Um, and then after some iteration back and forth, uh, we got down to the presence of, as a thesis statement, the presence of microplastics in drinking water from various sources poses significant health risks, underscoring the urgent need for comprehensive mitigation strategies and policies to ensure safe drinking water. A second example, hey, let's talk about sea level rise. All right, I might want to write, write a paper about sea level rise. So the first output here is as sea levels rise due to climate change, coastal communities face significant disruption and redistribution of critical infrastructure and housing, necessitating proactive adaptation strategies. After a lot of revision, this uh, thesis statement evolved to rising sea levels pose significant threats to coastal communities, necessitating provocative, or, excuse me, proactive redistribution of infrastructure and housing to ensure resilience. Now, in this case, I think I prefer the second, um, you know, the, 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 the end of the path uh, thesis um, to what we started with. In this first case, I actually prefer the first one um, uh, over the, the thing that came out at the end. So, so again, this is a process. This is showing students how they, where they might go. What if you tried this? What, hey, what about this? So this is, again, it's not meant to give them, quote unquote, the answer. It's rather to lead them down the path and see what works and what doesn't work. Uh, in general, the concerns I have about this app, since I've not yet run it with my students, um, is, is this uh, persona too, too much? Is this, will it not resonate with kids of today, you know, a detective from the 1930s or 1940s, something like that? Um, in general, even regardless of the model, it's, it's, it's more intense in some models than the others, but, but in general, there's some inconsistent layout and the feedback that comes out of the chatbot. Um, and there's always this worry that everybody always has when we introduce these technologies into the classroom, which is, hey, is this just, just doing the work, quote unquote, for students? Um, and so I hope that's not the case. This is, again, part of a scaffolding approach to show them how the technical writing process works, but maybe, maybe that's going to crash and burn, or maybe they're just going to try to use this to, to do work for them. So we'll see. And also there might be well, uh, may well be many other concerns that you have or that we'll discover in the coming weeks. Um, so that is uh, so that is it. And so again, this is in the context of a, a larger research paper uh, scaffolding process module that we're making. Um, while this is evolving, the general idea would be this Marlowe tool to help develop a thesis statement. And then we'd show kids how to use some other tools like Research Rabbit or Elicit to uh, select primary literature. And then some first stabs with something like Doc Analyzer or Explain Paper in terms of how they might synthesize, pull stuff out of those papers, and then doing some initial drafting of the papers. Again, this is not meant to, for, to do the work for them. This is meant to show naive students who have very little experience doing research papers how to do this. Um, maybe they use some of these tools after this module on their own. Maybe they don't. But regardless, they should have a pretty clear path and pretty clear expectation of all the steps involved in doing a research paper. So with that, please check out um, our app. Give me all the feedback you like. And uh, 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 thank you so much to our colleagues at PlayLab for this fantastic opportunity. Um, and if you've not engaged with PlayLab, I really uh, suggest you do this. They have free tutorials, free opportunities for educators that can learn how to create AI that's for educators by educators as opposed to some other uh, for-profit company telling us what we should be doing. Thanks, you guys. Have a great day.